Hey guys, so today, or, well, already, this is part two of my HP Pavilion DV7-4276NR review. So, I'll, I'll be showing you all my specs and whatnot. So first, I'd like to show you the switchable graphics feature. So I'll remove the cable, and it should say that. The has change. As you see, it'll say now you're using, um, so now we're using a power-saving GPU. So I like that. Anyway, going on. I would say that I'm going to show you most of these, and I will. First, I'd like to show you the Cyberlink DVD suite. It's really not that advanced or anything. But, you know, it's still cool, I guess you could say. So, let's open it up and I'll show you what happens. Okay, as you see, there's Cyberlink DVD suite opening up. And then, this will, like, record most, except Blu-ray. You have to upgrade to for Blu-ray. It's otherwise a really good software. Anyway. Next, let's move on to eBay. eBay is very simple. It's just a link to that thing, to eBay. So let's open that up, and I'll show you eBay. See, eBay.com. So there you go. Okay, there you go. Now we also have, this usually comes with Norton Internet Security 2011, but I haven't install, uninstalled that and read it, Norton 360. Also, it comes with the Sprint, which does not lead to Sprint's website just for your notification. At least HP.com, correct. Now, we have HP Download Store, which leads to a download store by HP, of course. There you go, as you see. Also, it comes with Skype, and I'm pretty sure you all know what Skype is. Now, it also comes with Snapfish, which is very nice. So, well, I guess it's just for prints. It's 20 free 4x6 prints you'll get. Now, HP Cloud Drive. Let me just tell you, HP loves name get themselves. So, let's say, it's called HP Cloud Drive, but it's powered by Zumo Drive. It's 2 gigs of free online storage, and you have to pay more if you want more. I'm going on. But I would recommend um, Amazon's cloud storage, which is 5 gigs free online storage, plus if you want more, every gig is a dollar extra per year. Okay, so I like it. Anyway, this is the Play HP Games, which is powered by Wild Tangent. Yes, they love naming themselves. Anyway, so it's Play Games Online. Now this is Blio. It is by KNFB Reading Technologies. And this will be giving you capabilities to read ebooks. This is very nice. It gives you free books if you from Google Books. It's provided. But remember, you can't just put a PDF file or any of those EPUB. You have to make a XPS file for this to work. Anyway, so we can move on, move back, all those stuff. So that's all I'm going to show. And I'm going to show you all the features that you can do. You can do book view, which would be double page, full width page, thumbnails, or this is called text reflow, thumbnails, or 3D book view, which is pretty cool. It's like, it goes into 3D mode. I'll show you this. It's really cool. See how it opens up like a real book and stuff? Okay, next. You can also do an expanded book, which means it hides everything there. And you can also do notes, but that's only on books that you buy from them. Anyway. And then you can hide that notes tab anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back here. Okay, now let's go to our next, which would be HP Media Smart smart menu. This will be coming with watching a DVD, listening to MP3 CDs and more, viewing, editing, and uploading photos, viewing, editing, or uploading home videos, using the webcam, 
and watching movies and TV. And this is just that HP's website. Anyway, these this is probably competing with iTunes here. These are all competing with Apple products, I'm pretty sure. This one I know is competing. It's trying to compete with Photo Booth. This one is competing with iTunes. It's pretty obvious. Now, watching a DVD, I'm sorry, I don't have a DVD to use, but anyway, we're going to skip that for now. Next, we have this one, which would be the HP Beats Audio Music Player. Um, let's open it up. And as you see, here you go, HP Media Smart Music. And it's powered by Raps. No, well, not powered by Rhapsody. You can buy songs from Rhapsody. So let's listen to one song right now. So let's just go to some song right here. Okay. So you it gives you 30 second bits. As you see. I'll show you. Okay. Here. Oh, sorry about that. And pull... So, if I play the song, the 30 second version, and it goes very loud, okay, it very loud. Now, it also has cover flow, so you can see all the covers in your library and stuff. You can go back, and also you can go, and this is very cool. These are albums. These are the artists. Now, if you're, if you have four albums or even more, it'll show the most recent ones played, and it's four. One, two, three, four. It shows four. And then for genres, same thing, except it's for album, song, it's all songs, and playlists, it's all playlists. Anyway, now that's pretty much all for that. But it's really nice. It. It can be iTunes. There, it has a chance of beating iTunes. There is a good. Now, we also have view, edit, and upload photos, which is okay, I guess. I mean, I like Windows. I mean, like Paint. Like Paint. It's really good, too. Or Coral, which is also included with this computer. Coral Paint Shop Pro Photo X3, which is v very nice. So you can edit the photos and stuff like that. Okay, going on. Next, we have viewing, editing, or uploading home videos. I'm sorry, I don't have any videos. And this is the webcam. So I'll show you what the webcam can, webcam can do. Stop living. So as you see, here's my hand. And you can do special effects, like you can add the alien effect. Only if there's a face, of course, but... Anyway, you can also do the face here, like... So, it'll move according to your face. Hello? Hello. See, so... Okay. Next, we also have... This, so... Whatever picture you put... It'll go into whatever. Then we also have, um... Nice little effects right here. Then here are my favorite. This is Photo Booth Destroyer. It's the effects as you see. So, oh, okay. And I'll show you all the effects. It's like a globe in this one, I guess. This is like, we Okay, next is Tunnel. And this is um, Mirror, so. Okay, wait. Um, I like this, wait. Peace out. Okay, now we also have um, the normal here hand movements. We also have this one. We also have this one for like more spinny globe. We also have this one for stretch effects. We also have this one. And we also have this one. Oh man, there's a lot of effects. We also have this one. Lastly, we also have um, color distortion, popping the bubbles, or not popping, but color distortion, sepia drawing, which is really cool. It looks like you drew somebody drew this. So, oh. 
and then this and then of course the four parallel whoa 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 more hands anyway now let's get to our other one we have more here we also have the watching movies and TV which only 